Hey, what's up, everyone? Eric Rossi, the guy with the eye here today, and I want to tell you how you can take raw photos on your iPhone 7 or 7 Plus. Now, Apple kind of fibbed a little bit when they said that you can take raw photos. Not natively. You still need to use third-party apps. I don't know if that's coming with a future push or anything like that, but essentially, um, this is going to be one of the biggest things that you can do, and I just really wanted to show you uh, an option or two on how to do that. So, But once again, if you go to the uh, photos and camera setting, as you can kind of see right here, uh, you don't really get an option to do anything. You just can send them up to the iCloud. You can set your grid on, what you want to record your video at, uh, record slow-mo, but that's about it. You can't set it to do anything else. One of the best things I've found, and there are two, there is uh, Pro Camera, which I, uh, I really do enjoy. Hello, that's my desk right here. Uh, or there is a Obscura Camera, which I haven't heard about. But a lot of the good things about this app are that it's a very good app. I'm going to highlight some of the things, and I'm not really reviewing the app. I'm just reviewing how you can do this and what the edit looks like. Obviously, the camera is down here. My keyboard needs to be cleaned. But if I go to click this button right here, you're going to see right here an option for different photo settings. Between a TIFF, a JPEG, or a RAW photo, I have it on RAW, obviously. But the other thing you can also do is edit it down on a computer. So say if I wanted to take this awesome shot of my computer right here. Don't mind you if you hear construction in the background. They've just been going at this all day. I take a photo right here and then I can then take this photo here and hopefully edit that on to uh, my computer. So let's check that out. So as of right now you cannot natively do this. You need to go through an app. Once again this is Pro Camera. But let's see how easy it is to take a raw photo and then edit it in uh, like Adobe uh, Photoshop. But you see right here, and it's not the best image, I just wanted to show you how this worked. I didn't control the shutter speed or anything like that, but it actually gave me the DNG image that I want. So you see right here, DNG from the iPhone 7 Plus gave me the dimensions, you know, what phone and everything like that, and even the information right here. So that's awesome. It's not gonna look the best because I shot it at 1 20th. I use manual with this app and I can go from there. So let's just take it open with Adobe Photoshop CC and. Let's see how this goes. So you can see it here that it opened like any raw photo does, and it is a DNG. It's a natural DNG. Uh, once again, I could have taken this better, but I, I was just doing it to test. But then you have all controls to control it, like you really took it like a real photo. So you have the utmost control still. It does suck that Apple says it does shoot raw, but I guess in a way it does to a third party app. But as of right now, you cannot. Hopefully, future things you can come up and use something like that because, like, uh, Pro Cam or Obscura cameras, they're like $4.99 app purchases. Saw that this photo right here, uh, using the wide setting, took about 14 megabytes. So, once again, we'll 14.4 uh, megabytes using the wide setting. I'm sure if you have more information and everything, it might be around the same. But that's how much you could take up using a raw photo. Not too bad. But overall, that's how you do raw photos. That's how you take one of an iPhone, iPhone 7 plus as well if you guys girls have any questions or comments please leave those down below um it's pretty simple